was first asked to, to do a reflector at El Filamoni, my first thought artistically was that um, I wanted to present a broader palette uh, to slightly challenge what people might think of when they think of Indian music or India. So I didn't want it to just be you know, artists from India playing classical music like some people might expect in a festival by me. And I wanted to look at the diaspora a little bit more of, of Indians who live around the world and the way the music is evolving in different places. Since I live in London, it was very he heavily influenced by the scene here and the diaspora here. So I just wanted to kind of present a broad picture of what, what Indian music could mean. I'm really pleased that a lot of the artists I originally wanted are still able to come, so I'm really excited they can be there. Um, there's classical Indian vocals, there's South Indian instrumental music. Be between those things you'll get a bit of a taste of the, the variances of Indian classical music as well. You know, my father's work and his legacy is so much a core part of what I do that um, it's hard for me to step out of myself and analyze how much he is a part of me. So even when I do music that's very much my own, um, I'm still sure that his influence is in the way that I think artistically. It's shaped who I am artistically. So sometimes it's more overt when I do something very classical. It might You might see his style more, obviously. But I think even when I'm doing stuff that's electronic or ambient or I don't know, it's still in there somewhere. Each time I've been to Hamburg has been um, very quick, unfortunately. So I'm looking forward to this one um, with a bit more time. I don't know how much freedom to look around, but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully some.